Why does it say 2090? Whoa. Sophia is making pottery in the future. Oh, what are you? Oh, Temptations? Really? This is a really cool mug. Oh, wow. Look at her. <gasps> Forever newlyweds? Hmm. Oh, but look it. I think I must look this up. Oh, do you see it peeking back there? No way. A twofer? I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. All right, I'm in San Diego and hitting one of our favorite stores that we have found. Hi, what? Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> so we are gonna head in here and find all kinds of goodness. Now what's really cool is Goodwill has allowed me to come in before everybody else today. All right, let's go in. All right, first things first. Let's grab us a lucky card. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. This one right here. Okay, so this Goodwill is different than the ones that we have in Las Vegas in that they don't have like the color of the week. I don't, they don't have a color of the week, do they? No, I don't think they do. I think they just have like a 10% student or I think senior discount. I don't know. We're gonna have to find out when we check out. So everything I buy is gonna have to be based on whatever that price is on the ticket. Oh yes, and, and Jordan's with me today. Oh, and look what she's wearing. For those that watched that video, uh, these are the Kate Spade earrings that I purchased for her. She likes them. All right, so we've got, I cannot believe how quick Easter is coming up this year. And they have all their really cute Eastery stuff sitting over here. Oh, look at this. This is very pretty. Now I'm looking for things not necessarily Easter because I won't have time to get it shipped out by the time I get home and get it listed and all that. So I'm looking for things like this false graph, little creamer that's really super cute. And that doesn't necessarily have to be for Easter, but it's really nice for four bucks. So we're gonna grab that. My secret weapons. Morning. Makeup is definitely not my secret weapons. Oh, look at those little paper mache bunnies. Those are super cute. Oh my goodness. Look at the face on this poor bunny. She's, uh, she's got some stories to tell. All right, I'm kind of on a quest here too. I am gonna put together an Easter basket. That's, that's gonna be my thing. And then I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a giveaway on that Easter basket. I think, I think that's something fun I can do. Okay, we're gonna start with a nice little simple colored Easter basket. Is this Ray Dunn? It is Ray Dunn. She is $9.99. This looks kind of Ray Dunnish too. It is Ray Dunn. From Marshall's, it's a little treat jar. I don't see the price, where's the price? Let's find the price. Is there no price? Oh. It's got a big ship. Okay, we gotta leave that one. This is a cute little jar back here. Blushing Blossom by Home Essentials for $5.99. I like that. I think we will put that in the cart. He's cute. He's very cute, but not quite what I'm looking for. He's got a friend too. I don't know. I find something very sad about this. Like, it's, it's like this sad little tree growing out of a rose. There's a statement there. Oh, he's cool. I think he's supposed to be like a reindeer, but this is that German, uh, oh, he's got a name. He's got a name. I think Jordan will approve. He's got googly eyes. He's $3.99. We're picking him up. Okay, we are going to make our way back to the housewares. 
But first we've got to look up here because they just really nicely merchandise by color block, make things look really, really appealing. And I love that. There's just, I don't know, how do you describe it? It just, it's just a very good feeling when you shop, when things are nice and neat and displayed well. Love it. All right, we are back over here. There's some large art here. Since I'm traveling, I'm not really gonna be looking at the large art. And I'm actually still looking for things to load into that basket. I wonder how they got jewelry all the way back here. It's kind of an interesting piece too. All right. This is the section that we want to dive into. But first, there is a bookcase of goods. Oh, that's a decanter. Vera Brooks decanter. Those were so popular, like 20 years ago. Like people collected the whole line. There's Ezra Brooks, there's the Jim Beams, but I don't think they've uh, held on to their appeals so much. These are not actually brass dolphins. Oh, that's a nice little recycled glass bowl for $1.99. That's a really, that's a really good buy right there. Let's see, anything else on this shelf? I see nothing. Uh, let's see. Got to look in all these little shelves because things are merchandise kind of by color. So there is no telling what's going to be there. You know how I love my butter dishes. Farmer's Market. $9.99. Okay. That's a little, little more than we can do. Okay. I get yeah, 15 to 20 for a butter dish. Usually unless it's some really, really good name. So there's some things you can sell generically just on eye appeal, functionality, popularity, and then there's some things where it's all about the name. And that's what you learn as you research and go through stuff on a daily basis. They're very color blocked here, which is also good because you never know what's going to end up on the shelf. He's a little single shaker. He's awful cute. I feel like he might be able to go in our Easter basket because I want to put things that aren't necessarily Easter that can be good for all year long and I'm looking because he doesn't have a price he might have a friend somewhere so let's stick him in our Easter basket and the enameled butterfly it's kind of gorgeous he doesn't have a price he would hold pictures or what else what else could you put on these I know there's other things you could do with this Let's see if he's in good shape. He is. Oh, wait. Yep, no. I thought he was missing a jewel, but he's not. It's there. It was a shadow. You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna stick him in the cart, too. Maybe he'll end up in the Easter basket. Okay, let's see. Nice piece of... Look at this. It was 25 cents. That tells you it's vintage. For $3.99. I kind of love that. That earthy stoneware pottery feel and it already felt vintage oh you know what it's signed too stand by okay so it's probably a studio piece i think it says js but we just we know it's got age on it because of that that price tag right there so let's go ahead and grab that now it makes me want to dig on this shelf a little more see that that's got some age on it too Get the old, the old crusties in there, but it's also only three ninety nine. I'm just seeing that there is some stress fracturing at the top. Uh, it's only just that one, and it's not horrible, and it's not, it's not like an all the way through crack. This looks really like late mid centuries, like sixties, early seventies. I think I'm gonna grab that see what else is hidden back here another little piece of pottery it's got some chipping at the top again uh, it's another little studio piece and it's burnished but this damage is a little more than I can overcome and get the price for it 
but we're going to keep digging because usually when one nice piece of pottery comes in, it's like a collection. So you always want to look for the pieces that go with it. Kind of, kind of loving the little doves, little dove candle holders. You know what? Those, those could actually go in my Easter basket. I think I'm going to pick these up for $3 each. Oh, I see a squirrel. You know, I, I got a thing for squirrels lately. He's $2.99. He's just a little ceramic squirrel. And we can see a little remnant of the made in China. So I think we're going to leave him. But he was cute. Yeah, I see the other butter dish. Now, because the other one was $10, I'm, I'm going to assume that this one is probably also $10. Oh, this one's 6 and it's a brand called Navaris. Let's look at that. And it says butter. Okay, this one I like. It's big. Like, that would hold the big old honking cube of butter. I think I'm going to grab that one. All right. I am on the hunt for more of that really nice pottery, though. Oh, what are you? A very Eastery bunny platter by Blossoms and Blooms. Oh, it came from Kohl's, but it was 40 So even if you had your 50% off at Kohl's, it was going to be 20 And it's $7.99 here. Oh, you know, I, I really, really hate shipping platters, so I'm going to leave it. But he's really cute. All right, back to the business at hand. This is a little, like a little, I wanted to say it's a double cruet, but I don't know if that's divided inside. Hmm little too mysterious for me. Oh wow, look at this piece. Look at this piece. Oh, it's a Pier 1. $4.99. It's pretty cool. I think I'm going to get that for $4.99. Do you see him? Do you see him just staring at me? He holds potpourri. $7.99. He's awful cute. I don't think I can resist him. I like him. Okay, let's see what else we can find. There's another cute little piece of pottery. Just simple little blue for $2.99. That's a great little accent piece. That could actually, that could fit in the Easter basket too. I'm gonna have to make some decisions at the end. Okay, these are interesting coasters. They're actually acrylic. They're not, those are, those are really cool. Oh, there are four of them. I really like these. They've been peeled. All right, we'll get a price when we check out. Oh, I almost missed that butter dish. Look at him. He's a little lion. Who makes you? Oh, it's anthropology. Oh. Oh yes, we're going to take the little Anthropology Lion Butter Dish for sure. Let's see. You know the holiday I completely, totally missed doing any kind of a sales event for was St. Patrick's Day. I mean, and it's such a great, it's such a great reseller holiday because you just pick green things. And I missed it. I just, I don't even know how I missed it. I just did. That's a very pretty plate. Misty Morning at Mount McKinley by Jean Sias. I just really don't do plates. It's beautiful. And I hope somebody finds it and loves it. But it will not be us. Oh, let's, oh, I need to put these down so I can look at that. Oh, Temptations? Really? I had no idea Temptations did cute little flower bowls like that. Four bucks for the pair. I'm going to grab them. And that uncovered this little blue, looks like recycled glass dish. Hmm, this will clean up. I think somebody used it as a candle holder, which it would work really good for that. That's just wax. That'll come right off of there. This has a really nice look to it. And technically, I could, I could finagle that into the Easter basket. So we're going to grab that too. All right, let's get into the green over here the green shelf now it's interesting i have two daughters who love the green both uh, rachel and jordan are both preferable of green this 
is a really cool mug. It's the Claw. Now I know it's spelled Claw Dog, but I, that's not a Claw Dog. I, it's a, it's a Irish thing, right? Love, loyalty, and friendship. The Irish Weave. Clara, three ninety nine. That's a really cool mug, and it's new. I'm gonna pick that up. What are you made in Thailand? It's got some purposeful crazing in it. I know little apples peeking out here. It's just a little apple thing. Hey. Okay. Oh, that's soap. That's a little prickly pear soap. You know what? That is perfect for the Easter basket. And then this matches the apple thing up there, which we didn't need that either, but we'll turn him over so he's more presentable. What are you? You are new. You are probably noticing this one behind it. I don't know. I feel like... I know that's done on purpose. This was done by... Sophia in 1995? Did I say 1995? Wait a minute. Why does it say 2090? Whoa. Sophia is making pottery in the future. I'm so confused. What does that say? That must not be the year. Or it's... I don't know. <laughs> Help me solve this mystery. Otherwise, Sophia is like in the future making pottery. Actually, as I look at it, it's got a nice glaze to it. It's pretty heavy though. I think I'm gonna leave this one, but I'm I'm intrigued, definitely intrigued, Sophia. That looks like a nice little mid-century piece of green. Yep, USA Pottery, $3.99. It's kind of a simple piece, but boy, that price is sure right. I think I will go ahead and pick that up. I see some interesting mugs back here too. Oh, they're all kind of tied together. Oh, they've got they've got stuff on it. Let's see. All right, now I have to see because they taunted me with their color. They're nothing. Yeah, they're they're like certified international. I'm gonna go with. They're Gatesware by Lori Gates, which may or may not be good, but I can tell that they chip really easy. So we're just gonna put them right back there and let them tempt somebody else. Okay, you gotta look really close on these shelves. That's a nice little, probably Bavarian teapot. That's not what was intriguing me. It was these two pieces underneath. That one not so much, but this one is another nice little mid-century piece by Stevens. It's just a nice little accent piece for $3.99. We'll grab that. All right, we are on to the red. Goodness. This looks like it had a lid inside there because there's that lip. I could be wrong. And it is Botanic Blooms Port Merion. Now I want to know if it had a lid. I guess I could look it up. Again, somebody's peeled the tag, so we'd have to get a price at checkout, but I'm going to look this up real quick. Okay. It does not come with a lid. And it is a nice seller, so we're going to grab that too. Oh, wow. Look at her. <gasps> She's amazing. Candle holder. I wish she had a friend. Maybe. Maybe a friend is still hidden somewhere, somewhere in these shelves that we missed. Because she's over on the red shelf, and she's clearly not red. She's blue. So I'm going to have to go back and look in the blue. But anyway, $3.99, even by herself, we're getting her. And he's clearly not red either. But he made his way onto the red shelf here. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's measuring. He's measuring cups and he's Cracker Barrel. And he's mine for $4.99. Oh, this is too much fun. Too much fun. Hand painted, made in Italy. It's $14.99. Came from Home Goods. Saw his way over to another store. I think that's like a Salvation Army tag. Uh, it's beautiful, but it's big and bulky to ship. So as a reseller, this is not gonna be worth my time and effort for what it would bring on the resale market, but it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's see. 
What else the red shelves have here? Cool, cool, it's all cool. Cute little bears. Okay. It's funny, like the more exciting things that I find, the more other things start kind of losing their their interest that I might have had had I not found the other stuff. Does that make sense? Like this heart, etched heart glass, but it's got a very cloudy bottom. You can clearly see this is not like high-end glass. And if we were before Valentine's Day, I probably would have picked this up, but I'm going to leave that one today. All right, we are in the purple and pink section now. Let's see, got some Valentine's Day leftovers. Look at this cute little piece of, and this is definitely a student piece. True three wells. I mean, that's amazing. That's amazing. Somebody, somebody's gonna have a future ahead of them of doing some pottery for sure. All right, nothing else here. Okay, we haven't even touched any of this yet. So let's dive in. All of their end caps have really fun things on them. Let's see what we've got here. A little, oh, is he a pumpkin? He's pumpkin elephants? He's $12.99 though. Oh, I think we have to leave him, but I'm intrigued. Oh, look at this little bar set. That's fun. I think it's a newer one. There's older ones, I believe, that have teak handles that can have some value. That's personalized for probably somebody's birthday or maybe, uh, I don't know, what other kind of party? Maybe like a, I'm trying to say the word, quinceanera? I know, I just totally butchered that. What are you? Little Asian lacquer little box thing here. Is this like a bento box? Is that what you'd call this? Unfortunately, the tape is peeling off the paint. So when this tape comes off, it's gonna peel more of that gold. So sadly, we're gonna leave that. I've already got some Halloween stuff making its way to the shelves too. Wait, what are you? Are you an elephant or are you a mouse? I think you're an elephant. Oh, you're a bookend because you have a friend. There we go come over here see what yummies are over here like maybe this terracotta with the blue drip for $3.99 why do I love that so much I don't know but I do it's going in the cart and let's see these are really cool now I'm not dealing in glassware anymore but I can still pick it up admire it tell you guys about it unfortunately the gold on this is pretty worn if these had been in really good condition these would be really nice they got the the silver and the gold this might be platinum even um, they used real metals to make these back in the day so they are very desirable on the collectibles market but there is a little bit of a hassle factor in uh, listing storing and shipping these you look Austrian, German. There's something under there. Let's peel and take a peek. What that says. Somebody else has tried to peel it too, so it's already started for me. And it says uh, NTK. Well, that doesn't tell me a whole lot, but it does give us a place to start on the research market. Unfortunately, it's pretty chipped right there, so we do have to leave it. All right, they've got mugs over here on the end cap as well. Let us see what we've got. I kind of just let something call to me. I stand back and see what kind of gets my attention. And nothing's really screaming at me. I know, I see the Starbucks. I don't tend to pick up too many Starbucks mugs. That one's $3.99. I leave those for somebody else. And then here's a little Tijuana cowboy dude. Pottery. It's cute. $1.99. A 
but nothing, nothing I need to pick up today. All right, we got one last little end cap and then we're gonna dive into these other shelves. All right, don't see much on this one. Forever Newlyweds. Hmm. Oh, but look it, I do need that for the Easter basket. And then down here, I spotted what looks like a little Italian basket and painted, oh, Portugal. And that makes sense um, because the European countries definitely had influence on the Portuguese arts. So, $4.99. I think I kind of love that. All right, we've got the art art wall here the small art look at the yin yang cat clock the hands are pretty messed up on that i really don't deal with clocks because things like that can happen even if they're perfect when you sell them that can happen in shipping and unpackaging and all of that good stuff i hear i hear jordan in the background she is also making a video for her channel but she's concentrated on the clothing. That's kind of her jam. So you'll have to go over there and watch Just Jordan Things to see what she's talking about. Am I back? I'm okay. Do you want me to answer that? <laughs> Would you wear this as a dress? Oh, negative. No. Yeah, that's what people, I don't think this. No. Nope. Nope, nope. People are wearing slip dresses as dresses. That's what uh, nope. All right, we continue. We carry on. Oh, there's more. Did I mention? There's more end caps. This store just goes on and on and on with the cool stuff. So if you are in San Diego, you must come down to Chula Vista and shop the Goodwills here. This is Amberina, and I'm kind of loving it for $1.99. It's got a very uh, squared edge, and the design of this makes me feel like Polish pottery, but it's newer, so we're gonna leave that. Let's head over here, again, purple. Got a purple shelf. What do we have on the purple shelf? It's a pretty little mug. It's got a chip, though. I still pick it up and look at it, even if I can see from a distance it's got a chip, I still want to look at it. I want to see if it's got a maker's name. I want to feel what it feels like. So if I find one that doesn't have a chip and I've, you know, kind of done the research, I'll know whether to pick it up or not. There's a nice little vintage piece of pottery. $3.99 on that one. I think I will leave that for $3.99. Are these... Oh, they are melamine. Let's take a further look at those. All right, so we've got bears and a reindeer and more bears. It looks like mostly bears and then some Christmas guys. Okay, these are from the Wonder Shop. I don't know. Oh, is that like Target? Target does the Wonder Shop, don't they? But what I had discovered after taking those out of the basket is that I kind of want to uh, trade up my basket for this bigger one that someone can use outside of Easter. See, that one's very Eastery, and this one can be used all year long. So let's upsize our basket. So remember that creamer I picked up right in the beginning? <gasps> yes, indeed. We just found the sugar to go with it for $4.99. So now I have a set. All right, let's come over here. You must believe in magic to find it. If you take no risks, then you make no magic. The universe has big plans for me. Live a life that you'd relive over and over. Ooh, I think that one's my favorite. Okay, the store is open now. We had our little head start, which was super fun. Look at this cute little whale. You know, a lot of people use these for things other than shakers now. You can put hat pins in them. You can put make little flower bouquets. In fact, I have a friend who does that. Julie at One Way Vintage makes the cutest little designs. And I think, I don't see a price on him. Are they trying to sell this as a pair? I don't think so. I think I'm going to pick him up for Julie. Oh, this spongeware is super cute. Who makes you? 
The Workshops of Gerald E. Hen. That there's an interesting mark on the bottom there. I think I must look this up. Okay, this is all. Now that one, I don't know if it's the same, but all of this workshops of Gerald E. Hen. Was that one? Oh, that's Roseville, Ohio. Okay, all of this, all of this, all of this is going in the cart. I kind of love this goblet too, but I wish there was more than one. Do I want just the single goblet? I kind of do. All right, we've got a brown section over here. Oh my gosh, look at the monkeys. They are the hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil monkeys. Two, 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 fifth. Uh, yes, we're grabbing that one. Oh my, she looks a little judgmental. Oh, do you see it peeking back there? That is a piece of treasure craft. It's upside down. It's a canister. It is missing its lid. Wait, what was it? $7.99? Mm, definitely can't do that. Oh, it's cracked. It's cracked. All right, let's see if there's any other goodies here. I think we got them all. Wow, oh, these are really pretty. Who makes you? Fukugawa Arita. Those are actually really nice for $2.99 each. We're going to leave them, but those are nice. It's funny how our carts end up looking so different. She's in my way. She's in my way. I have to, I have to move her. <laughs> because I saw a piece, what I think is Fitz and Floyd, but I, now I look at it. Now I got my hands on it. It doesn't feel like Fitz and Floyd's. It's the Sonoma. Sonoma version. Fitz and Floyd does make a whole pattern of seashells that I absolutely love. I do love this too. I am going to get back to making my little uh, assemblage pieces very, very soon. Do I want this for that? I kind of, I kind of do. But I feel like I can find this at home. So I'm going to be good. I'm going to leave it. They have a ton of plates and dishes. Goodies on the shelf. Not really the thing I'm looking for. But these are super cute. I don't know how old they are. Cappuccino. Little gold. I don't know if they're actually old. Or they're just like mid-century inspired. Either way. We're going to leave those. Oh, you know how I love the wood aisle. Let's see. And I love, first thing in the morning, it's all nice and neat and tidy. Oh, that's very lightweight. Oh, it's a gourd. Striker. $10. I may regret not getting that, but I am going to leave it. This is also where there are some different basket opportunities. I don't think I'm going to go quite that big. we got to keep the shipping kind of reasonable because I'm paying for all of it since it's a giveaway. It's kind of pretty actually. Fatima. It's on a piece of burl wood and it's got this little religious icon. I mean that's that's kind of nice, right? I don't know what the Fatima means, but it's beautiful. It does have one little rough edge there, but it is wood and I think that's uh, forgivable. So for $5.99. I think we're going to grab that. Look at this giant walnut thing. What are you? Oh, it's a whole, like a nut set. I bet, I bet there was like a nutcracker in here at some point too. That's pretty amazing. It is $20, so we're going to leave it, but I love it. Okay. I think we're about done. I do like Choose Joy. That's a, will that go in our little Easter basket? I feel, I feel like it will. What are these little tea boxes? Cute. Oh, hello mask. Wow, you're a pretty fancy, but you are really broken and I think you are not that old. So we'll leave you. All right, let's see if there's anything exciting in the metals. It's kind of pretty, isn't it? 
It's very lightweight. I did not expect it to be so lightweight. It's Raymond Walla, I believe. So, hey. I don't know. I don't know if he's somebody, but it's $7.99. So we'll leave it. And... Wow, look at that big copper wall file. That's cool for $25. Cute little fish, but he's nothing too exciting. All right, let's keep going. All right, now we've got their plastics where they have a whole bunch of mugs and tumblers. Not mugs. Why did I say mugs? Tumblers. This is a Disney one. It looks like an older Disney villains. Do they have dates on these? It's got a lot of wear to it. I think it is an older one. Whirly Drinkworks, but it's also got too much wear for me to pick up. All right, let's get through this section fairly quickly. I don't see anything else too enticing here. And drinkware. Now I do see they've mixed drinkware. There's candle holders. There's bowls there's all kinds of things mixed in which is interesting that's going to make me look a little harder through the drinkware section i will tell you like maybe there's like a piece of waterford mixed in here so we have to look carefully these are cool I like those hmm this keeps calling me too like why does it have that little divot on top it's party oh it's a candle holder it's a party light something or other all right let's see what little hidden treasure is in here so far no very strong temptations but you never know like live laugh bark oh it's got a chip darn it that's really cool came from Ross. A lot of people, a lot of dog lovers do love little things like this, little accents around the house. So I would have picked that up had it not been broken. And even though it's glass, it's not really hard to ship. Oh, I wish there was at least two of these. <sighs> Look at that beautiful Amberina. Nope, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave you right there on the shelf. Okay. The store is filling up now. The day has begun. We are going to be hitting more Goodwills here in San Diego. So be sure you are subscribed and hit that little bell notification. And if you like this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps YouTube know that you want to see more content like this. And then I can keep going. This is a little piece of Fostoria coin glass. There is only one. Unfortunately, it's not a super high selling pattern, but I still, if there would have been two of these, I'd have picked them up. And I did see this really pretty biscuit jar here. It's got a little chipping at the top and it's $20, so we're gonna leave it. All right, now we are in some houseware stuff. I love the terrine, not gonna get the terrine. I love the chip and dip. Oh my gosh, this, this right here, this, is the holy grail of things to find all on its own for the other chips and dips that are out there. Gosh, I almost want to pay $10 just to get that to go with another set, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. Not this time. Let's see what else we've got. I did, my eye did kind of go to uh, this blue bowl here. Again, too big for me to pick up for shipping, but it is Pottery Barn, Oceanside. Nice bowl. I see another. Now, I don't like the ones that don't have a handle. I'm a little, little bit of a butter dish snob that way, but we're gonna leave that one. I do see a pretty plate peeking from back here. Made by Le Souk Tunisla, $7.99. That is kind of gorgeous. Now, we will get that plate holder off of there and uh, put that in the cart. No way, a twofer? Look, there's another one. 
And this one is a mid-century, but it's super worn out. That is too bad. Wow. $7.99. Again, I almost want to get it just for that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave that just like it is and let somebody else enjoy it. Okay, let's see what else we got here. I see some old wood utensils sticking out here. Let's see if I can get just those. Oh, they're not that old. And they are the... Well, I mean, they might be old, but they are not what I thought they were. They're a zebra and two giraffes. Unfortunately, the fork is a little, a little rough. How much are you? Three ninety nine. I almost feel like the zebra spoon is worth the three ninety nine. You know what? I'm gonna pick those up. All right, let's look through party supplies, and this is like all their new package stuff. And you never know what's gonna end up in the new package stuff. Like, look, Groot. Grow a Groot Chia Pet. All right, I'm not I'm not getting the Grow a Groot, but he is super cute. But this is the kind of stuff that has like barcodes. You could scan it, see if any of it's worth, you know, picking up and doing a little what they call arbitrage. Buy low, sell high, all that good stuff. What are these? Nature's Little Essentials. Silicone divided plates. Well, there, see, there you go. It's probably got some value. It's not really my niche though, so not something I'm gonna pick up. But there could be new old stock in here too. There could be some, you know, mid-century thing that's still in the box because they're just putting it over here because it's still in the box. So you gotta look, you gotta look at everything. Oh my gosh, look at these little cute. Oh my gosh, I think I have to get these for Rachel, even though they are $7.99. I'm gonna splurge. Are they something that, I don't know. They're just pulling me. Okay, my little Easter basket of goodness. I am going to give this away. Let me figure out the details. Leave a comment. If that's something that looks exciting to you, who knows, maybe I'll just pick it from a comment. I don't know yet, but leave a comment. Let me know what you think about my Easter basket of stuff that I'm gonna give away that isn't necessarily for Easter. It's for whenever you want it to be. Oh goodness, what is she? She is, she's like a Barbie-ish, but she's, she's all ready for something. Oh, this is how they bring out their carts of stuff. Ooh, let's peek. What do we have in here? Any excitement? I like the little cheesekeeper thing there. Ooh, that's nice quality. What's this Mr. Potato Head? What's he doing? What is this guy here? Oh, he's an actual Mr. Potato Head Santa. Okay, you are. This one interesting piece of glass. It is Fenton. Not sure I'm familiar with that Fenton pattern. It doesn't have a price, so let's go see how much that one is too. So over on the other side, they have another row of shelves that have to be looked at see if there's anything good up there and then they have the textiles look real quick here doesn't hurt to have soft stuff to wrap some of this pottery and goodness up <gasps> oh that's an ugg baby blanket how much are you 6.99 see not really not really my niche so i will have a little bit slower time selling something like that but I am listing on eBay again I don't know what that goes for you know I'll probably research it as I'm editing this video and and put it in my memory banks and I'm gonna leave that for someone else this time but I didn't even know that Ugg made baby blankets did you is this just something that just I didn't know just wondering oh 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 hello beautiful are you like a table runner I feel like you are for $4.99. Well, you know I have to get that. All their pillows are up on top here. When I get home, I have to get on the hunt for some new cushions for my backyard swing. Wowza. Look at their games and look, they use cubbies. How great does that look? I mean, this drew me over even though I'm not in the market for any games. I definitely was pulled to come and take a peek. 
them over here at the purses. And of course I spotted the signature Betsy Johnson look. It is a Betsy Johnson and it is $39.99. So we'll be leaving that one, but it's cute. And they have a lot of purses. Oh, I didn't even notice like there's scarves behind the purses. Definitely have to look everywhere in this store. Do you have a name? You don't have a name. Ooh, you have a nice feel to you. I have a lot of purses already that I need to do something with, so I'm not really in the market for any more, but look how cute this Sam Edelman is. <gasps> I feel like, I feel like that that's a name, like maybe a good name. Uh, so many of these names though are now selling at like Ross and Marshalls and places. They've kind of licensed out their stuff and it's not the high end it used to be. So you have to be careful. And then there was a bird bag. Oh my goodness, a bird bag. Who makes you? Rara Avis by Iris Apple for $9.99. See, that's probably something I should know is really good, but I don't. All right, I see a little bit of jewelry mixed in here and there and everywhere. Take a peek if anything interesting got put out here. Oh, there's my little bookworm shopping for books. Got some more jewelry. Ooh, kind of a bougie looking elephant. Oh, look at this heart. Oh, it's trying to look like Brighton. It's not, it's not the quality. It's missing a stone. All right, I don't see anything that we must have here. Nope. interesting little piece of pottery like it's a little big for a sake cup but it's cool oh jewelry is just kind of scattered we gotta look gotta look everywhere those do not look like real stones no I'm missing one too look at cubbies this is where I was inspired to do the cubbies when I opened my store I was shopping in the San Diego Goodwills that's kind of an interesting bracelet. Is that a mark? I feel like that has some potential. It's kind of like a little bird's nest feel for $3.99. I think I'm gonna, gonna grab that one. Shell. All right. They have end caps everywhere. I know that's where I was going to look too. I like the little dangly one hanging down. This one? Yeah. Like this one. No, the little dangly hanging down one. No. 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 That one. No. Yeah. That one. No. no, that one. It could be a thing. It could be. It's probably not. I should probably listen to her more. Man, end caps everywhere. Of course, they got all their yummy Eastery spring colors out here. Oh my gosh, that's a very cute dress. And then they've got jewelry on mannequins. You just have to look everywhere when you come into this Goodwill store. Everywhere. I mean, everywhere. I feel like, I feel like we did. More jewelry. I like these little simple little hearts. Let's see. Oh, it's like a whole. Okay, stand by. It's like a whole thing. Okay, it wasn't. It was just tangled, but it is. It's two layers, and it's really sweet. I don't think it's anything like super high end, but for $3.99, I kind of love it, and I'm going to get it. Oh, we got some more jewels. The jewels are everywhere. That's kind of fun. Not real. Okay. Oh, that's like pieces of potpourri on a necklace? No. One little beaded purse but it's got some definite condition issues okay I think we're about ready to wrap it up Let's see what we've got up in the very front that we kind of just walked right by when we mo moved in <laughs> when we came in more jewelry and they got more jewelry behind the counter as well which Maybe that'll be the better stuff. 
I'm gonna take a peek. Look at this gorgeous piece. All these abalone shells and beads. $4.99. Oh, that's a definite yes. And I really was attracted to this one with the mesh in it and then the little stone beads. But it's all of these together. You have to buy them all. Do I want them all for $3.99? I really just wanted this one. I'm very intrigued by that one. But to get that one, I guess, <laughs> if I can hold them, I'm buying them all. Okay, well, my cart, Jordan's cart. Distinctly different, but both are filled with incredible things. So be sure you go watch Jordan's video over on Just Jordan Things. And you know, of course, you're watching this one. So you're, you're gonna stay tuned for a recap and I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, how much it's worth, and how you can win the gift basket full of goodies.
my gosh, how fun was that? Like the first bit. Oh, yeah, I guess. I'm, I'm holding my camera. What is... well, there you go. Clean your hands. Take two. What one? Okay. All right, now that we have cleanliness out of the way. Wait, that didn't sound right. You know what I mean. <laughs> wow, we have a whole day ahead of us. I'm going to be shooting more videos here in San Diego while I'm here. Having some wedding planning fun with Jordan. Tripod? Who knows where we're going. She's got the plan for the weekend. I'm just the passenger. Uh, but... Are you terrified? A little. <laughs> But the reason I was able to get into this Goodwill an hour early is they had me create some fun content for them that will be showing up over on Instagram. And if you want to win that free basket of goodies, that is where you're going to have to be following me. Ah, I threw a curveball at you. So there will be some reels going up on Instagram that have to do with that basket of goodies that I bought. And that is how you're going to find your chance to win. So please follow me over on Instagram as well. And now, on to the next adventure. You, go be profitable. And keep it clean. Make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.